Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be walking through the different available patches there are for unsupported Macs for every different Mac OS version. I'm going to be walking through some of the best ones there are and the easiest ones to use for uh, the different Mac OS versions so that you can make a decision about which one is best for you to use. So let's get straight into it. So today I have got the top three ones in my opinion that are the best to use and I'm going to switch to a screen recording so that I can show you um, each of the different ones. Okay, so today I've got a number of different Safari tabs open for you guys so that you can see uh, the different patches that I'm referring to throughout the video. And if you'd like to skip to a certain um, part of the video so that you can see the patch for your uh, needs, I'll leave some timestamps in the description so that you can skip to wherever you need to go. So we're going to open up Safari and for this video I'm going to be starting from oldest to newest. So we'll start with um, Sierra to Catalina and then we'll go up from there. So the first ones we're going to be looking at is DOS Dudes Patches. So uh, this is a guy named Colin and he makes these amazing patches for um, Mac OS versions and it ranges from Mac OS Sierra to Mac OS Catalina. So I use these patches all the time, they're really easy to use, he makes a really great user interface and they're one of the most popular patches for these specific versions. So um, the Sierra, High Sierra and Mojave patches um, all look the same in terms of their user interface. He did do a nice redesign with the Catalina patcher that sort of makes it look a bit like um, the actual Apple installer. Alright, so to start off, we'll just have a quick look at the Mojave patcher um, to have a look at what the older versions look like and then we'll have a look at Catalina. So you can see that when you click on any of the patches between Sierra and Mojave, you'll see a page similar to this and you've got the different content you can go to which will take you to each different section. You can see the requirements and his patches uh, make it um, very easy to install on many different Macs, like as far back as 2008 you can see here, um, which gives you a lot of range. He also gives what uh, isn't supported, uh, and he gives some screenshots of the different steps you'll need to take along the way. So you can even download the Mac OS installer through this app, which is really handy because you can't just download it through the App Store because it's not supported. So you've got some really um, great steps here on how to use it. Gives you some nice detailed instructions. And that's a little look at what the user interface looks like. So it's a nice simple one, a couple of buttons, which makes it really easy to understand. So now we'll take a quick look at his Catalina patcher. Um, so we'll just have a look at this one here. And um, I'll leave all the links to the different patches in the description below. So don't worry about having to find those. They'll all be in the description. So when you go to the Catalina patch, you can see we see quite a different website here. Um, but it basically gives you a similar thing. You can download it. Um, you've got some important information. You can just click on all these different ones. He does have a tutorial video, although... Um, I do have, I'll um, link it in the cards, a um, video on how to install Mac OS Catalina on an unsupported Mac. So if you're looking for that, definitely check that out. And I do use this patcher um, and it's really nice and easy. And as I said before, it sort of looks like the traditional Mac OS installer. So um, it's quite a familiar interface and good to use. So that's basically the DOS2 patches and I've used um, his patches a lot in the past and um, they're really great ones so he does a great job at that um, and a huge thanks for him to making those. So um, the next one we're going to have a look at is for Mac OS Big Sur. So um, we're going to do, it's called Patch Sur uh, and it's made by someone called Ben Sober. Now um, he makes, basically what he's done is there was a micro patcher um, 
made by a guy called Barry KN, I think it is. And um, that goes through terminal, um, so you have to enter some command lines. It's really um, um, great that he was able to make that, but um, Ben Sove has basically made a nice user interface. It still uses the micro patcher, but it's just a really straightforward window that makes it really easy for anyone to follow the process. And I have made how to install macOS Big Sur on an unsupported Mac. I'll link that in the cards as well. And it was using the patch sir patcher, which is a really great one to use. Now we can see that this is his website here. So he goes through all the different, um, any important information that you may need uh, for this, which it's really detailed. And you can see this is sort of what the um, patcher window looks like, nice and easy uh, to understand. You got some simple buttons, um, you can see here. You can even choose the different update tracks you might want to use, which can use release or beta. I think there's even developer in some of the older versions. But yeah, you can see here and you got um, a nice overview of it all uh, on the left here with the sidebar. Now, um, the reason that we're not using DOS Dude for Big Sur is because he actually took a break from making the patches. Um, so it lets some other people get in and have a go. And I actually think this is a really nice patch at as well. Now you download it from a GitHub site. Once again, I'll leave these linked in the description below. You can see this is the GitHub site. It sort of gives a simplified version of what the website looks like here. And if you want to download it, you go to the releases section on the right and just click the latest release and then you can go down and just download the patchsur.dmg and you also need the post install app which um, you'll put on the USB which um, if you follow my tutorial um, that goes through all the steps you'll need. So that's for Mac OS Big Sur which is the latest available one as of the time of recording. Although Mac OS Monterey is about to come out. It's not publicly available yet but it is in betas and it should be coming out fairly soon. So. Um, let's have a look at what patcher you can use for macOS Monterey. So, the available patches at the moment is called the Open Core Patcher. This is sort of similar to Patch Sir. Um, you go to the GitHub site, which I'll link in the description, and you can see here once again it's a similar layout. You can to download it, go to the releases section, and sort of go here, and you've got the downloads that you'll need here. Um, and it's sort of got a similar website as well. So it's similar to Patch Sir. The only thing is there are a few extra steps. So um, because this is an early patch, you still need to do um, a certain few things in sort of, you need to enter a couple of commands um, so that it'll actually boot. Whereas Patch Sir does that all for you. But as I said, this hasn't, as of the time of recording, been publicly released yet. So um, there should be some more updates to this patcher and may maybe more other patches. I don't know whether there'll be another patcher um, the, to the successor of Patch Sir, but we'll just have to see. But um, at the moment, this is a great patcher to use if you would like to install the beta uh, and when it's finally released to your unsupported Mac. And let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video on how to use the open core patcher to install macOS Monterey on your unsupported Mac because I'm happy to do that if there are some of you out there who would like to see the steps to do that. So um, basically that's the open core patches. So um, these patches that I've mentioned um, cover all the way from macOS Sierra to macOS Monterey. So we can see here just to recap, DOS dudes ones cover from Sierra to Catalina and they're the best he makes the best ones, in my opinion, for those versions. And then for Big Sur, we use um, the program called Patch Sur, which is probably the best one to use for macOS Big Sur. And then if you would like to do macOS Monterey, as of the time of recording, Open Core Legacy Patcher is the best one to use. So if you want to see any of those, um, let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see. I do already have videos for Catalina and Big Sur, so they'll be linked in the cards. 
And also be sure to check in the description for any of the links to the downloads for these because I'll leave them all linked there. So hopefully this was a helpful guide to give you an idea about the best patches to use for each different um, Mac OS version. There's many out there so it can be a bit overwhelming at first. So hopefully this narrowed down the best ones to use and also gives you an idea about how you do the process. Also, I have noticed that the videos about how to install macOS on an unsupported Mac have been doing probably the best on my channel. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to continue seeing more detailed topics about unsupported Macs and how it all works and tutorials about them because I am looking to continue that further if you all would like to see that. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.